All right, y'all, check this out. Got me some extra wood donated to me. I'm so very thankful. And got this pegboard because you know what I need? I need storage for this paint that I have. That's gonna be like six tiers right there, y'all. So that's what we're gonna do for this video. All right, y'all, so the height of my paint storage cart is going to be determined by the length of the wood that I have. And this is what I have. And since this side is already jacked up, this is the side that I'm going to cut. So we're gonna make that cut. And what it's going to end up being is 57 and three quarter inches. All right, child, so now that we know that it is square, it's glued and screwed together. So let's measure for some shells in here. All right, child, so I got the shelf standing up. I've got the three paint cans on the bottom and I've got one shelf in, but I'm going to need to be able to get these out. So I'm just gonna put a little spacer in there. So it won't be so tight and I won't be able to get it out. So this is going to give me the perfect height for my shelf right there. And we're going to check to see if it's level. And it is close enough. So this is where I will be screwing in this shelf. So. Then I can remove these and these will come out easier. Now, we will need some support for these shelves. So what I've done is I've cut these to fit in there, right there. So especially for the three rows that I'm gonna have the large paint cans, we will use these two for each level. All right, y'all, let's do the second shelf. Put my spacers in there. And then we'll take our second shelf. Slide it in there. And I'm kind of insetting it just a little bit because for this the bottom three rows, the paint cans are extra large. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of eyeballing it. That right there, and then what we'll do is we'll screw it in on the sides, and then we'll do our next row. Once I get this in here, and this one in here, then I'll show y'all how I put the supports in the middle. Now, just in case y'all didn't see how I Put my screws in what i did is just just stood in front of it eyeballed it to get it in the center of the shelf and so that i stay on point i just mark along with my square that's why i'll pre-drill and that's that'll be into the center of that shelf all right y'all so i had made some cuts for the spacers to go in here like this but they're a little too long. So I'm just gonna have to shave a little teeny bit off of it and then we'll place them in there. And from the top, I can screw it in. And then for the bottom, if I can get under there with my drill and drill bit, I will screw them in. If not, then I will just use a toenail and just toenail them into this. So now that I've got my height, I can go ahead and set up a stop block and make these cuts. All right, y'all, so all I did was took a screw and put it into this to keep these in line. A bit inset 
because that's how I roll. And then I'll take this one. And all I did was try to hold it as straight as I possibly could. Pre-drill the hole. Try to keep it lined up with the one on the bottom. If not, it's all right, people. And then just put a screw in there. And see how it kind of turns a little bit when you put that screw in there, but you'll be able to straighten it out once I take these out and I'll get them from the back also. So it's not going to be a big deal as long as you got it in the spot where you want it. All right, y'all, we have made it up to our last shelf that goes right here. Let me just show you how I kind of got the spacing for this. I just measured this, which is 25 and a little bit. So 12 and a half would be center. Put it right there. Make a little mark, keep me on point. And then I use this square to make sure I have this sitting straight. Oh my God, y'all, I did a horrible job. Well, now that, I had to kind of go around that. We'll fix that. Ugh. But it's okay because it is the back of the cabinet. So we're not going to stress about it too much. paint storage cart thank y'all for watching please make sure you like comment share and subscribe